Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be one that really pisses you off, especially toward the sovereign citizens that roam around without the proper coverage, without the proper insurance, and will claim that you are the one to blame, and it's not them. In fact, I've covered this particular sovereign citizen guru on my channel a few other times, and uh, he never has any good advice for anybody that's a rational thinking human being. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to destroy your computer screen on what you are about to hear from this complete imbecile yo family what's up what's up how y'all doing i'm out and about tonight now look <laughs> so you know a lot of people was asking in the comments right you know i was looking at you know facebook and they looking at my video and all that so people were saying oh what if you get in an accident and smash into my car and, and i'm stuck with the bill now check this out you went to go get the license, which is for commercial reasons only. Oh, swing and a miss already, considering that there is a distinction before, between a uh, regular operator's license and a CDL. In every state, there are distinctions, you freaking moron. I mean, there are CDLs that can be obtained when you have to drive commercial vehicles and well there's a lot of tests that you've got to take to be able to drive one so you need to do a lot better than that you paint chip eating moron you register your corporation which would be a vehicle Again, uh, a vehicle does not count as a corporation. It may count as the property of a corporation, but it is not a corporate entity in itself, you freaking moron. You insured the vehicle amongst the corporation. So why would I have to pay for your car that I crashed up? And I know it sounds crazy, but when people don't understand Literally every car that that I see on this expressway is commercial drivers. Dumbass, you dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. You might not know you're a commercial driver. You might not know that you are an actual corporation, but you are a corporation. A corporation must have li I mean uh insurance for liability. Do y'all know like Walmart is a corporation? I'm gonna give y'all an example. When you go into Walmart. If you was to walk over, like say if you stepped over some water, you slipped and broke your back, that is a lawsuit. So the corporations take all liability because you registered to be a corporation. So, so let me get this straight. If since you are a corporation, a separate entity in itself, that and if you go into Walmart, which is another corporation, and if you slip, trip, and fall, then it is your responsibility that you fell. Well, it's not that simple, dude, uh, considering that each time there's a uh, code white inside of a Walmart, which code white is for accident, uh, it, there's always an investigation, and uh, if it's determined that the... Uh, well, well, the the store was at fault for anything. Then the then the store pays for it. If not, then well, it can move into a lawsuit if the uh, claimant or the person who had to slip, trip, and fall decides to go forward with it. But if there's evidence that the uh, person decided that uh, that they would deliberately fall, and that happens, then they would. Uh, they would most likely lose the lawsuit if they decide to go forward with it. But Walmart just may end up paying for it anyway. Just some go away money. Go away. Go away. But it's all it's a different for every situation. I was once in a safety meeting where there was a uh, talk of a issue where a kid lost his fingers in the uh, spokes of a bicycle. Bit, but we didn't pay for it because the grandfather was warned several times to not let his kid play, his uh, grandson play with the spokes on the bicycle. But nope, it still happened anyway, and the kid got 
four of his uh, fingers amputated, and uh, Walmart was not liable for it. So there's that. There are those issues where Walmart isn't held liable for anything. So please continue on with your damn stupidity of things that you had know nothing about. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably have some bad kids. Y'all might have kids, and y'all children accidentally drop a vase in Walmart. Do you pick up the vase and say, I'm going to pay for it? No. That's on the corporation. So if you ever get in a, in a car accident with a national, and you a registered driver, you, you register as a corporation. So that's why it, it, it's necessary for you to get insurance because if you wanna if you wanna drive in the public and for commercial use only, then that's the whole purpose of getting registration and insurance. If I was to ever get in a car accident with someone without registration, they were traveling like me, I wouldn't have no problem giving my fellow traveler ten thousand dollars in cash and make sure he get a tow home. But if you're a registered corporation, your insurance company will make sure a tow truck come. Your insurance company will make sure me and you both are compensated. Your insurance company will repair your vehicle and my vehicle. Your insurance company will make sure both claims are settled. Why? Because you agreed to be the commercial driver, not me. So by you being a commercial driver, you have to insure yourself at all times. You know, you driving your vehicle is registered with the state. You driving around commercial driver's license, which is your normal driver's license. You register your corporation with the county and you constantly pay your registration fees every year. What do you mean you're not a corporation? So you take all liability. Walmart take all liability. No matter if we mess up or they mess up. Walmart take all liability, y'all. All liability. So we have to start understanding that. We, we have to start understanding that. If we don't get to the bottom of that, then we'll be lost. So yes. Once you drive under a driver's license, you register your car, you pay for insurance, you take all liability because you signed up to be a corporation unknowingly. You know? So, those are things that the DMV don't tell you. Well, there's a good reason why the DMV doesn't tell you any of this stuff is because this is all fantasy land BS that you came up with to uh, con people with lower intelligence than yourself. I mean, good grief. This is all just BS. And that's all it ever will be because we are not corporate entities. We can register a company that will be under our name, but we are not corporations as it is. We don't take on the mantle of a corporation ever in our life. That is an entity all in itself to cover us when we go bankrupt should we go into business. But it has nothing to do with what you're talking about, you freaking moron. They don't tell you that you are a commercial driver. They don't tell you that, that you get insurance because you have to insure other 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 entities as well on the road. When two cars get into a crash, it's like two corporations who is about to sue each other. <laughs> So, if I got all state and you got State Farm and we both crash, State Farm and all state are both liable, not y'all. But since y'all the corporation, they all come out. They all come out of the insurance. That's the difference between driving under a driver's license and registration insurance versus traveling. Oh, you really think that uh, individuals? can't be held responsible for uh, any accidents that happen on the roadways. Well, what ha what is it that happens when uh, you do have an accident and you are the one that's responsible? Well, I'll tell you something. Your insurance rates go up because you have just been held responsible for that accident. You would know this if you ever paid any attention to insurance and everything like that. But seeing as how you are a complete incompetent moron and don't want to pay attention to reality, you don't know these things. I'm traveling as a free man. I'm not a registered corporation. I take no liability. I take no liability at all. 
unless I go into a fellow traveler and we accidentally crash into each other. The chances of that is one in 100,000. <laughs> so basically what I'm hearing here is that you are a special little snowflake that uh, the rules don't apply to. So therefore, if you get in an accident with somebody, if it's their fault, then you sue them. If uh, they, If you hit them, then they're screwed. But if it's another sovereign citizen that you hit, then, well, you'll give him $10,000 and a call for a, ta a taxi. And that's all you'll do, I mean, as, as well as a uh, as a uh, tow truck. But So basically, right there, you're saying you don't give a damn about anybody else but yourself right there when it comes to the rules of the road. Screw everybody else! That's what you're saying. I don't care about everybody else but myself. If you get hit, and it's not my fault. It is your fault. If you hit me, then damn you, it's your fault. Because you hit me because you were stupid enough to be on the road as a commercial driver. Or something to that matter. Is that what I am hearing? Well, to be perfectly honest, you are a hazard to everybody on the road. And the day that you get put in jail because you hit somebody and ended up unaliving them and didn't want to take responsibility for your actions and everything like that and tried to uh, throw other people under the bus or anything like that. Oh, it wasn't my fault that they got in my way and that I ended up running them over. That was their fault. Well, dude, I hope the consequences of those actions hit you pretty damn hard. I just hope that nobody but yourself gets hurt in the process because we don't need people like you on the roads.